Well, speak. <coughs> Good boy. Come on, man. We cheated. First part of the video. Might go back and take this back part and put on the front part. But uh, I got to go get surgery done on my neck. L2, 3, and 4, I think. If I ain't mistaken. Uh, Got to go get surgery. So I'm trying to get everything done. I'm not taking on anything. It's going to be about three months for me to uh, wear a brace or something. I don't know if I'm going to be working it, be able to work in it or what. I don't know. But uh, my hands go numb. And it's kind of hard to hold on to anything with your hands going numb. And uh, that's the reason I'm. Okay, uh, what we got is, it was a repair, a uh, repair upgrade, I guess. Uh, I don't know who had been in this thing after I'd been in it, but I don't know what happened to it, I forgot. I got the thing some time back, and I'm just getting to it now, which I did have it fixed. And I was going to ship it back in the 2x6 uh, configuration and he wanted to upgrade to an APL and then drive it with something else and that's the way we got it. So, this was the board it had in it. I left it all intact. I can just stick it over in another amp if I had to. But... I don't normally do this, I wouldn't normally do this, but I was trying to save time. So I built the amp outside of the deck. When you build a six pill, uh, I don't know, sometimes we put these if we know the ink will be left, see this could never be a, a eight because there ain't no pots flying it. Uh, two by eight, anyways. Uh, you know, I could have uh, put two more transistors in it and and uh, slid everything over. So these two would have been one. These two would have been one. These two would have been one. And them two, but uh, and that would have made two by eight. But there ain't enough power supply in it to pull it. So, even though there's a 40 amp a piece, still enough, not enough to pull this as a 2 by 8 So, we went with a uh, holding board and everything. Because I hate to pull up and... Uh, pull up, put back in another board and get all them damn soda blobs all over the damn place. So it's a 2 by 8 now. I mean a 1 by 8 uh, 1 by 8 It's a straight egg. Well, I was working on 1 by 8 earlier and a 2 by 8 earlier. So, y'all bear with me. I'm retarded. Uh, There it is. So I took the verbal out the front of it, rerouted these. Uh, that's all I do is build this board, stick the power wires back over here, rerun it for the switch, rerun the cap, uh, reroute these uh, power wires, and uh, reroute the ground wires. Uh, Everything else I've done outside the cabinet. And it's the same size as that 2 by 6 same thing. So this went back in there. This is Mr. Short Circuits box out of uh, Texas. And uh, 
and uh, she's ready to go. We'll do a little short video of it running. Uh, my Kerber 29, my little uh, amplifier here, which it's my little test two pill. It's got 2290s in it. It don't do a whole lot because I don't want it to do a whole lot. Uh, I want it to be a little bit more than a two pill, but a little. I mean, a little bit more than a one pill, a little bit less than a two pill. If it makes any sense, just four drivers already in line, stays in line all the time. So nothing changes it's what it comes out to be. So all right, reflect five watt and right there. Uh, this is peak. It's uh, twenty five hundred watt there. Alright, leave it off. This this amp here is on. Find the mic. There it is. Alright. There ain't gonna be no reflect because I was talking through the box. Hello, 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 hello. That's tuned. This is that box. Which is this amp. Driving in that. That's a 2500 watt slug, remember that. Oh, so that's 2500, that's, uh, oh, good though. Right. Oh, oh. 300 going into it. 22290s. But RMS this don't do a lot. I think it does about a hundred RMS. If I ain't mistaken. Oh well. Oh oh about 90 today. About 90 RMS. So it's 2500 watt slug in there. Uh, let's see how much RMS is going in. Oh, oh. So it's 25. Let's see. That's 500 to there. Let's see. Each two is a hundred. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Like I said, about 90 watts. Alright. Orange mess. Oh. Oh. It's up around. Oh. About 300 with this set up here, isn't it? Dick in about a oh about two hundred. Let's move this to the that little white slug. This thousand white slug now, so should be doing about seven eight hundred. Oh, oh, oh. the right tone in it. Alright. That's the one slug out. 25 on what slug in because I'm gonna do peak. And let's see. Reflect. It's gonna be here. Five watt second reverse. Hello, 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 hello. 
Oh, oh, and about 1800 peak over here. Now, that's like I said, that's with that amp running. If you run an external amp, it drives it a lot better than being this in line because this is run through a shitload of coax or switch box, all kinds of crap before it even gets over here. A line section, a lot of things before it even gets over to this amp. So, oh, hello. So, Oh, hello, hello, one, 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 one. So, she's doing what she's supposed to. Reflect looking good. Hello, hello, hello. One, 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 one. Oh, a lot of people won't give it audio like it and show reflect, but there it is. Uh, the voltage is dropping a little bit on this. Uh, is dropping down to about 14.3 so from about from about 14.9 to 14.3 and this is on antenna by the way and it's tuned on my antenna everything's running perfectly cool Nothing getting hot. on the flare. Output combiner resistor. Audi 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 one 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 one. Audi 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 Audi. Things looking fine. Transistors lighting up. One two three four five Things looking good. There's a picture of the uh, output combiner. Audio, audio, audio. Three degrees, everything's looking good.
Mm. All right, so you're gonna be ready to go. Cut that thing off. I'm gonna be those left on. Huh. Well, there she is. It's all locked down. Uh, got a big cap here. Uh, some of the one good caps there. Some of the good ones here. Metal clads with a some added to it. Then blow it out. I don't know how that got in there. But yeah. Ready to go? Alright, circuit breaker. That's a cool handle by the way. Uh, she's ready to go. I'm going to get a quote to you and get it out to, uh, I added a brace for that, uh, runway for them wires. You know, I need to do everything new. So, uh, lock tightened all the bolts. To the power supplies and everything with the red Loctite. All them's locked down. Red Loctite on all of them. All of them. Went to all the screws again and redone them. Well, it's got a nice thick cord on it, which I had that on it to start with. So, I'll get a quote and let you know. Put you on the phone. I just takes a few minutes to go anyways. And that's you on the phone. But, there it is. Y'all have a good day. On to the next one, I got uh, Mojo's to go. I'm gonna get, uh, I should've told us the first part of the video. Yep. But all right, I even got Loctite on that. Put Loctite on all these. The only thing got Loctite on it's them, these, and this. All right then. I put a little tag on the front of it. Eight pill high drive, no more than 300 watts max peak, and dead key, 200 watts. That's what this means. It's an eight pill high drive, 300 watts max, like two pill. Uh, 2290, 2879, but kind of turn that down or have like a Cobra 20, I mean a Cobra 2000 or something like that, or stock Cobra, something like that going into a uh, 2879 box and then, uh, with a variable power on it, and you get about 3, 325, something like that. 325 wouldn't be too much, but. Uh, External amp, we'll drive it harder, like I said. But this is ready to go.
It's ready to go. Alright, lighter. Alright. I just got a text from me. He said he hears noise in the power supplies of it. But as y'all know, I'm deaf. So, I got Amy to come down here and look at it. Listen to it. And she says she don't hear no, nothing uh, that's... I told her, you know, you're going to hear a fan in here running. Because the fans in there run. Alright, power supplies on. And this camera, the mic's right up on the front. It will pick it up. Alright, turn it back on. Alright. Alright, and then receive. Noise blank is all the way off. You don't hear noise. Turn this off. Turn this on. Turn it on. Now, it don't look like I put any blockers on these power supplies when I get them. Now, these did come from Fat Boy. They're the good ones. I've had some issues with them little knockoffs, but these are from Fat Boy. I done started buying from them, even though they're higher. Started buying from Fat Boy. I put two more little blockers here. Uh, I think that really did help a little bit. I think I heard a little bit on it earlier. But, uh, I don't know. My noise here uh, seems to have a little bit because of this transformer right here. Need to put a new one up. That thing's been here ever since I've been here. They changed the one out on my niece's house up there, but... They didn't get to that one. So, and of course mine run down, run down through the ground and come over to the house, but anyways. Oh, uh, 
Yeah, I don't hear any noise in it. Which, hell, I won't hear any noise in it if, if it did have any. But I got somebody else to listen to it. I didn't see anything on the meter. Uh, any Another way you can tell and hook his coax. Now that radio pick it up some. Pick it up, turn it pretty much wide open. Alright, use this. Most time that'll pick up some noise. Turn it on. So yeah, that's all I can do. Now I take these apart and I put uh, on the bottom of the boards so on. I put uh, caps on them and filters and different little things on them that you can't see from the inside, but I do them. But yeah, you can't see it from the inside, but it is done. I do all of them like that. So, uh, Looking over here to see if I got one apart, but I don't. No. But yeah, I take all mine apart and put caps in them. <sighs> like that. Make sure all the solder works down on them. But alright, that's it. Lighter.